you're living moment to moment. You're very present, which is great, but at the same time, it's very unsettling. You don't have the space to, to sit with your own thoughts and analyze and process what's happening. You're just so busy moving on to the next thing. And I was an expert at brushing things under the rug. And if I don't give it attention, I don't have to deal with it. My mental health was very much treated that way. This episode of the Don't Change Much podcast features a conversation with Canada's most decorated male figure skater, Patrick Chan. The three-time world champion and Olympic gold and silver medalist reflects on his career and life after sport. Despite Patrick's success, he faced the stigma of mental health challenges every day of his young career. It's why he's now a mental health advocate, encouraging others to have honest conversations about what challenges them. As an individual athlete, I trained on my own a lot. I was in my head a lot. Of course, the default is to internalize everything. But you can only keep a lid on it for so long. What ended up happening was I would come home after work and be absolutely miserable. I couldn't be a good father. I couldn't be a good husband. I was like very short tempered. Little things would cr create a blow up. A Sunday would come around after the weekend and I would be so like down in the dumps, like real feeling really low because I knew that Monday was coming around and I would have to go back to that job. Then my wife stepped in, Liz stepped in and was just like, okay, you, <laughs> you need to figure, like, you need to go get help. And then we talked, obviously, but that was the first step was, of course, talking to Liz and then working through what's happening currently and then also digging further back into the past and all that. It was a long journey. It was a long journey. My son had just been born. So a lot of new things coming into my life, creating a bit of turmoil and chaos, but I stuck with it and got the help I needed. And now I'm in a great place. Did you enjoy being Patrick Chan in your teens and early 20s? Or was there a part of you that longed to have a normal life or a normal childhood and adolescence? Yeah. When I was young, not at all. I loved what I was doing. I loved the challenge. What 16-year-old gets to travel to Europe for competitions on a monthly basis? There's so many experiences and learning lessons that I gained from it. That I never felt like, oh, I wish I could go to movie night with all my high school friends on Friday night. No, I never felt that pull. However, it did kind of dawn on me later in my career that I long for a normal schedule, a normal life where I'm not traveling all the time. I want a home base. I didn't feel like I was I had roots anywhere until I was 28 years old. So I think that creates a bit of this, like, you're living moment to moment. You're very present which is great, but at the same time, it's very unsettling. I was an expert at brushing things under the rug and just being like, ah, if I don't give it attention, I don't have to deal with it. My mental health was very much treated that way. As an athlete, you have good training days and bad training days. In life, yep. you have good days and bad days. Exactly. But as an athlete, I was like, a bad training day means that I failed or that I didn't understand the key point to make this successful. It, you find some reason to not accept a bad day. So that was a huge one for me was that understanding that once a week, I need to allow myself the space and the time to, to kind of work through just everything feels a little harder today. That's how it's going to be today. And tomorrow will be better. I remember reading something that said that as humans, we cannot accept feeling good. Like we feel that Feeling good is danger as opposed to just enjoying feeling good, like having a good day, being like, hell yeah, this is awesome. I'm going to enjoy today. It's a beautiful day. I feel positive. I'm optimistic about my career. I can't wait to see my son. I really embrace those days because I know that's not going to be every single day on a consistent basis. So more good days than bad days now, though, Patrick, is that fair to say? And is there a physical component to your healing? In your everyday life, do you need to stay connected that way in order to be the best version of yourself? I'm not a, a gym rat. What I love to do, though, is I have beer league hockey every Sunday. One of the rinks here. I can't wait. I get ready an hour before I have to leave. I get all my stuff ready. I tape my stick. I just get really into this like mode of I love the routine. I love seeing those guys that I get to play hockey with. We all get there early, like a few of us, the closer ones. We get there early. We chit chat. Like those are the key things that I know. I feel like I need that. 
whether it's just talking about the week or talking about what's upcoming, I just love the banter. And then we get on the ice and we play like a physical game. That is a huge, really important part. It's late at night. Like it's Sunday at 11 p.m. And my wife is at first was she was like, this is ridiculous. You're not doing this. And I think after a while, she's like, yeah, you need this. This is really something important for you. So you go do it. The title of the podcast is Don't Change Much. What are the little things you try to do each and every day to continue on your journey to be at your best mentally and physically, emotionally? Appreciate the little things and taking the time to acknowledge what you're doing and how important it is. For example, taking the dog out in the morning. As simple as that is, for me, is like a check of like, okay, this is my st- the start to my day. I've done one of my roles and I should appreciate that. Just slowing down and appreciating the little things. I'm not going to experience something as amazing and great as the Olympic Games again, but I can add all these little highlights, all these little bits of what I do to create that I guess that something even greater than the Olympic Games. 